schools all over the tri-states face difficulties attracting substitute teachers. So the Carthage, El Carthage Elementary School District has increased pay from $100 a day to $110 a day. News since 5, WGEM's Dylan Smith spoke with one substitute who's been retired for more than five years but is helping fill in when needed. Dylan? Daniel and McKenzie, the district heavily relies on former teachers coming back into the classroom as substitutes. Shelly Bennett is one sub who has been in the district for more than 30 years. And after a very brief break, she's doing what she can to help address the need for subs. Shelly Bennett first started teaching in Carthage in 1979. Fast forward more than 40 years later, and that's still the case. I've subbed um, long term just about every year since I've retired okay. from anywhere from second grade to middle school. Bennett didn't give it much thought before deciding to return as a sub. Since I didn't um, take much of a break since retiring, I feel very comfortable here. Um, the new s the staff, although a lot of it is new, is very welcoming. But getting subs like Bennett is a struggle. <laughs> Carthage Primary School Principal Ryan Jacoby says they usually need a sub at least every other day, but getting that sub it can be a lengthy process. Sometimes we call one sub, one person, and they're ready to sub. Sometimes we can call 18 and still can't find anybody. And then we're trying to cover in-house and have teachers cover during their planning periods or have um, our reading specialists cover somewhere. And being such a rural school district doesn't help matters. And having to drive and get them to come here when they live in Quincy or live in Macomb and get them to drive that 30 minutes to come here and sub, it can be more difficult. That's why Superintendent Dustin Day says increasing substitute pay is a must. He says it keeps the district competitive, especially at a time where demand is high. Somebody that may have to drive 10 or 12 miles, I have to realize if it takes them $20 in gas to be here and then they travel, it's probably not something that's a big money maker for them to do. So I have to be cognizant of that. In addition to pay, the district is making an effort to create a welcoming environment so that when subs do come, they're more likely to return. Dylan Smith, WGEM News.